Namaste all. I'm Yong. Uh, I'm going to lead you all for a 15 minute slow flow today. All right, let's start. Let's come to a tabletop or all four. Make sure that your knees are directly under your shoulders. Your shoulders directly under your hip joints. And let's push the palms and the fingertips down. So not just to dump all the weight on the sh on the wrist, but also share the weight with the fingers and the center of the palms. Start in the tummy slightly, so make sure that the back is almost flat. Like trying to lengthen your back a bit. So not all the way sinking down like that, but to push the palms, engage the core. It's like we are doing a plank, but with the knees down. So from here, we inhale, roll the shoulders back, open up your chest, look front and open up. Make sure the ears and the shoulders are big. And when we exhale, push the palms, suck in the tummy, chest in, bring the chin towards your chest. Inhale, do the same thing, roll your shoulders back. Make sure your ears, your neck's long. When we exhale, push. Come to a cat pose, suck in the tummy, engage the core, inhale, come to a cow, exhale to cat, inhale to cow, this is a very good stretch for the front and the back of the body, exhale, hunch, inhale, arch, exhale, cat, inhale, cow, when we do exhale, tap the toes, suck in to the cat and bring the knees up a little bit. Inhale, knees down, open up to a cow. Exhale, suck into the cat and bring the knees up. And inhale, knees down, open up to a cow. Exhale to the cat with the knees up. Inhale, open up. Exhale, knees up to a cat. Then push the hips high to a downward facing dog. This is our first downward facing dog. Let's bring the heels up and down. Walk our dog. So to stretch the hamstring a bit. But make sure that we keep pushing the palms, the center of the palms and the fingertips down. So it's like you're pushing the palms and your tailbone away from each other. So you stretch the back and then you bring the heels up and down. Then let's stay at the downward facing dog. Imagine yourself look like a pyramid shape. So you want to make it um, your back flat and long stretch. Then slowly, if you want to bring the heels down and your hamstring allow, allowing to do so, then bring the heels closer to the earth. Like you want to stretch your hamstring more. Some of you, if you can straighten the legs, you can do so. For those who can't, keep the knees bent, but make sure the, the back is long and flat. So you don't compromise your back, you can bend the knees but you keep the back flat, long. Suck in the tummy slightly. From here, let's slowly bring the feet together. When we inhale, we bring the right leg back and high. Come to a three-legged dog. When we exhale, knee bend, knee to the right, to the nose, and move your body forward. It's like you are going to a plank with one leg bent. Inhale, bring the right leg back and high. One more time. Exhale, hunch towards the nose. This time, step your right foot in between the palms. Bring the left knee down. Push the front foot and the left toes or the left back of the left foot down. Come up to a low lunge here. Palms on the right knee. Okay. Bring the hips down. Push the right knee forward. Open up your chest a bit. From here, try to bring the hips down, like you're bringing the left hip towards your right heel. Open up your chest. For those who can, bring the arms high. 
towards the ceiling. If you're bringing the arms high, it's like as if someone's pulling your arms high. So don't just loosen up, but keep pushing your palms, your arms high towards the ceiling. Then bring your hips down. Slowly bring your palms down. And then try to straighten the right leg, bring your hips back. Here, do three times like that. Come back to low lunge, so hips down further. Straighten the right leg, hips back, hips down. Then straighten the right leg, hips back. From here, stay for a while. Some of you can straighten the right leg, you do so. For those who can't, keep the right knee slightly bent. Keep the left back of the foot pushing down towards the floor, your mat. So not sinking your hips back, but keeping your hips square like that. We inhale, we try to lengthen our upper body. Exhale, try to bring your front, the chest down towards the right shin. Stay there, you feel sensation at the right hamstring, but if you need to keep the right knee bent, do so. This is a half split here. Feel your right hamstring, you can even close your eyes. Nice one. Bring your upper body up. Bend the right knee back to a low lunge. Keep the right palm next to your right foot, outside of your right foot. Okay? Bring the left toes tuck, left knee up, and then bring the left heel down. Open up your body to the left side. Then left arm up to the sky. As if your left palm and the right palm are away from each other, stretch both palms away from each other. Look at your left palm if you can. Or else look down, doesn't matter. But keep your right knee at 90 degree. Keep pushing your left arm up to the sky. Open up your left hip and your chest. Then slowly bring the left arm down, left heel up, slide your right leg back to a downward facing dog. Keep the feet together, bring the left leg back and high, inhale. And we exhale, bend the left knee, bring the left knee towards the nose, hunch the back, push the palms, then slowly step your left leg left foot in between the palms, right knee down, push the left foot and the right toes or the back of the right foot down, come up to a low lunge here, push your left knee forward, chest open up, you want to keep the weight not on the right knee but on the left foot and the right back of the right foot down. Pushing down so your right knee almost no weight. Bring your right hip towards the left heel and stay here. For those who can, arms high. So you tend to stretch the right hip flexor here. So it's active stretching. You shouldn't feel like your body weight are all going down, your energy going down. But instead, your arms high, bring your energy high up to the sky. And slowly bring your palms down. Three times, stretch the left leg. Bend it back to a low lunge. Stretch the left leg, straighten the left leg. Come back to low lunge, hips lower down. One more time, stretch the left leg. This time we stay. If you can, flex your left foot here. Push the right back of the right foot down, hips square. Inhale, we lengthen the upper body once. Exhale, we slowly lower down the chest towards the left shin. Stretch the left hamstring here.
You can even close your eyes to feel the stretching sensation at the left hamstring. For those who need to keep the left knee bent slightly, please feel comfortable to do so. Head up, bend the left knee, tuck the right toe, left palm push, right heel up, right heel down. Then bring the right palm up to the sky. Stretch both arms away from each other. Push the back foot down. Open up the right hip. Your chest open up. If you can look up, look at your right palm. If you can't, look down. Slowly bring your right palm down. Right heel up, slide your left leg back to downward facing dog here. Slowly step your left leg, left foot outside of the left palm, right foot outside of the right palm. Slowly you want to squat down to Malasana here. Then push the hips high, straighten the leg here, stretch the hamstring, lower down, come up. Try to use lesser arm force, arm strength here, try to lower down even, don't touch the floor. Do the same movement without touching the floor, the palms away from the floor. Come up and lower down. One more round, up. Squat down and then stay here. Your right elbow pushing the right ankle, uh, your right ankle, your right knee, left elbow pushing the left knee away from your body. Bring your hips down without arching the back, especially your lower back. Bring your shoulders wide open. You can stay here for a few more breaths. Now with your own strength, your leg strength, keep the knees there, arms away, bring your arms high. Push your knees away from each other, slowly palms down, push your hips up, open up your legs slightly wider than just now. Keep toes point to the side. The inner feet down, the whole feet down. Strong legs. Bring the arms behind, interlock your fingers. Inhale, we open up your chest and your shoulders. Exhale with the straight spine. Try to touch your, your crown towards the ground and open up your shoulders. In turn, it's like you are expanding your armpit. Keep the legs strong so they can support you to go down deeper, especially the front of the feet. So the toes are pushing down towards the ground. Very nice one. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, you release your palms, palms on the floor. So slowly, point your toes to the side. Bend the knees to the side. Come up to a sumo, your palms come up to your thigh. Lower down the hip. If you can, your hips are the same level like your knee. You can move to the left, to the right. For those strong, you can leave the arms away from your knees or on your thigh. Come up to a goddess pose here. Lower down if you can. For five, four, three. Try not to touch your low back. Two, one palms back. Let's do a sumo twist here. Push both knees to the back and then twist your upper body to the right side. Twist to the other side. One more round, go deeper this time. Strong legs so that you can go deep. Other side. 
Then slowly come back. Lower down your palms, feet together. From here, slowly squat down. Sit on the floor. We do a um, core strengthening, core practice. Bring the feet up as if you are bringing the knees and your chest closer to each other. Then for those who can balance and keep the core engaged, you can bring your palms, your arms away from the floor. For those who can't keep it here, but keep the knees and your chest close to each other. For those who can level the left leg, the left shin and the floor, try not to lower down, stay there. For five, four, three, relax the neck. Two, one, slowly lower down. Straighten the legs, knees up and down, up and down. We do a dandasana here. Flex your feet, palms next to your, your hips and push the palms towards the floor, straighten the upper body. So as if you're making yourself look like an L shape here, 90 degree. Inhale, bring the arms high, keep engaging your core, keep your back straight. Exhale, arms high, forward and down slowly. If you can hold your feet, hold your feet. If you can hold your shin, then you hold the shin. Try to pull the feet or your shin to lengthen the upper body, your back, your tummy. Then only you go down further to a deeper forward bend. Here, try not to Strap your shoulders so your ears and your shoulders are away from each other. Long neck. Just slowly inhale, come back. Bend the knees slightly, hold it tight, exhale slowly, lower down, lie down on the floor. Let's do a simple bridge pose here. Your feet are hip width apart, step down close to your, to your hips. Palms next to your hip, palms facing down. When we inhale, push the feet down, bring the hips slowly towards the ceiling. And we exhale, slowly come back. It's like we bring one vertebrae by vertebrae, we come up to as high as we can. So from the tailbone, inhale, bring up, then to a lower back, to the middle back. Go higher, higher, by pushing your feet down, exhale, come down, back. So same thing, vertebrae by vertebrae, from the middle back, lower back, then to your tailbone. One more round, inhale, push up, and then this round we stay. Try to push the inner feet down as well. So you may feel that your quad, your front thigh is lost sensation here. Then it's all right, stay for a while. A few more breath, long neck, chin away from your chest. You can even close your eyes. And slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae, we lower down, back. Let's hug the knees a bit. From here, we go to a happy baby pose. So palms holding the outer edge of your feet. Pull the knees close to your armpit, and then as close as possible towards the floor under your armpit. Try not to lift up your buttocks so high. So push your buttocks back to the floor and then stay here. You can rock yourself to the left, left to the right. Keep the eyes closed.
and slowly hug the knees one more time. This time, rock yourself front and back. Go harder until you sit up. <laughs> sit cross leg one more time. Back to start off the practice. Can uh, gently move the shoulders. Can keep the eyes closed. Synchronize our breath for three times. When we inhale, bring more air to our belly button, to our belly, to our stomach, so the belly will be bulging up. We exhale, we exhale all the air out, so our belly will be sinking in. Inhale, more air to the body. Exhale, slowly exhale out. One more time. Inhale. More air to the belly. More air to the whole body. And exhale, all air going out from the body. Gently open up the eyes. Thank you so much for joining the, the short flow um, the yoga stretching. Thank you so much for joining the short uh, yoga flow practice with me. I'm Yong and do check out the other videos um, and drop me comments. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer if I know or else. Let's be friends from here. Namaste. No,